Happy day children. Welcome to the world of measurement. Previously, we discussed about the fundamental quantities. Can you name the fundamental quantity that measures the duration of an event? Yes, it is time whose SI unit is second. Do you know about the device that is used to measure time? You're right, it's clock. Today we are going to discuss about the clocks and their accuracy. Let us have a look at the most ancient clocks, the sundial, the most accurate clocks, atomic clocks. Here is a sundial that tells the time of the day when there is a sunlight by the apparent position of the sun in the sky. This was not accepted worldwide because it had a great limitation and drawback. It could not be used during the monsoon season. Here is a water clock which uses water. And you should know that water clock is a device by which time is measured by the regulated flow of water into or out from a vessel. You should know that water will not be in the same physical state in all regions and at all places. In the Arctic and Antarctic region, water will be found in the form of ice where it is very difficult for us to use water clocks. So they also were ruled out. Here is a sand hour clock and this device is used to measure the passage of time using sand. This also was not accepted for a long period of time because due to friction the sand particles got reduced in size and the accuracy was disturbed. But many of you even now use sand hour clock as a play toy and everybody almost in your young age would have played using that. Have you seen this part in the watch which is called as a crown? Yes, nowadays when the battery is exhausted and after replacing it with a new battery, you adjust the correct time using the crown in your watch. Earlier this crown was used for winding as you wind the key of the toy and the toy moves the same way these clocks are called as mechanical clocks in which the timepiece is wound by turning a knob or key and stores energy in the mainspring that turns the clock's wheel as it unwinds until the next winding is done. We had to find an alternative because they were not accurate. They used to have manufacturing defect. As you all know, no two objects can be made similar. So, no two atomic clocks could be made similar. There was a time difference. Can you identify this picture? Exactly, it's a pendulum. So, what is a pendulum clock? A pendulum clock is a kind of mechanical clock. As a pendulum swings, it rocks a lever called as an escapement that locks and unlocks the part of the mechanism driven by the falling weight. You can see here we have a pendulum that connects to an escapement which controls a lever which drives the hands of the clock. But pendulum clocks, they too had some limitations. These pendulum are acted upon by gravitational force and you all know the gravitational force doesn't remain the same on every part of the earth and at higher altitudes it differs. So this limitation of the pendulum clock restricted its use to a certain period of time. After that, can you see the word written on this clock? Yes, exactly, you're right. It's quartz. So this clock uses an electronic oscillator that is regulated by a quartz crystal to keep time. Even this clock had few drawbacks due to their manufacturing defects. Then came the atomic clocks which are the world's most accurate clocks used for very accurate and precise time measurement. We will learn about quartz clock and atomic clocks in detail further. We can classify clocks based on the display and based on their working mechanism. 
Based on the display, clocks can be classified as analog clocks and digital clocks. And based on the working mechanism, clocks can be classified as quartz clock and atomic clock. Let us have a look at the types of clocks based on the display. Here is an analog clock. Analog clock is a clock which has a face called as a dial and it has three hands. All those three hands show different part of time like the hour hand. It is short and thick shows the hour and minutes hand. It is long and thin and shows minute. It makes one rotation in one hour. Next at last is the seconds hand. It is long and very thin and shows seconds. It makes one rotation in one minute and 60 rotations in one hour. Do you know children? Analog clocks can be mechanical or electronic. That is, they can be driven mechanically using a crown or electrically using a battery. See this display and say what this clock is known as. Can you guess children? Yes, you're right. These clocks are called as digital clocks. It displays the time directly. It shows the time in numerals or symbols. It may have a 12 hour or 24 hour display. Recent clocks are showing date, day, temperature, etc. They are electronic clocks. They cannot be driven mechanically, so they need electrical energy for their working. Here again we have a classification of clocks based on their working mechanism. Based on their working mechanism, we can classify clocks as quartz clocks and atomic clocks. Here is a quartz clock. All those clocks where quartz is written on the dial are called quartz clocks. These clocks are activated by electronic oscillations which are controlled by quartz crystal. Quartz is a crystal similar to widely known crystal diamond. It vibrates. 32,768 times per second. It is more accurate than mechanical clocks. They have an accuracy of 1 second in every 10 to the power of 9 seconds. It works on piezoelectric property. What, is, what do you mean by piezoelectric property? When a pressure is applied along a particular axis of a crystal, an electric potential difference is developed in perpendicular axis. It was given by Curie brothers, Pierre Curie and Jacques Curie. The word piezo is derived from Greek word piezine, which means to squeeze or press. Here you see whenever a mechanical stress is applied along the crystal, quartz crystal, then a potential difference is created. So, what, is, what does this picture show? Whenever a mechanical stress is given to a crystal, it produces an electric potential difference. The reverse of this also is possible, which is used in quartz clocks. Here you see the back side of a clock. It has a battery, which is fitted with a mic quartz crystal microchip. This battery provides a potential difference, electric potential difference. And... Due to this electric potential difference provided, the quartz crystal in the microchip vibrates. And when it completes 32,768 vibrations, the detector sends a message to the motor asking it to move the second's hand by one second. So what does this mean? That one second is the time taken by the quartz crystal to vibrate 32,768 times. The most accurate clocks are the atomic clocks. They make use of the periodic vibrations occurring within the cesium atom with atomic number 55 and mass number 133. Atomic clock vibrates 9,192,631,770 times per second. These clocks have an accuracy of 1 second in every 10 to the power of 13 seconds. That is, they show an error of 1 second in every 10 to the power of 13 seconds. These clocks are more advantageous because 
as you collect samples of water from any source the molecular arrangement will not get disturbed the same way there won't be any manufacturing defect in case of atomic clocks cesium atom taken from any source will be the same when a microwave of a certain frequency is applied on cesium atom per second it exactly vibrates 9 billion 192 million 631,770 times only so these clocks are said to be the most accurate clocks in the world so these clocks are also used in glonass that is global navigation satellite system which uses the gps tracking devices nowadays these gps tracking devices are installed in all smartphones with the help of gps device we can locate any place gps is also used in all cab services like ola uber etc it is used in food delivery apps swiggy zomato uber eat etc international time distribution services also they are used and do you know children the first atomic clock was invented in the year 1949 by the us national bureau of standards but it was less accurate than the quartz clock so jack penny and lars esson they both invented the first accurate atomic clock in the year 1995 using cesium 133 in the national physics laboratory in united kingdom you can see jack penny and lars esson with their first accurate atomic clocks if you like this video like it share it and subscribe my channel thank you